Hello, everybody. How is everyone doing? How is everyone doing? If you can hear me, please give me a thumbs up in the comment section. If you can hear me, give me a thumbs up in the comment section. Let me just make sure that everyone can hear me. Fantastic, Connie Barma, and as Baron would say, hi, Marcia, how are you keeping? How are you keeping? <laughs> I hope everyone is well. My goodness, it's all going off at the moment, right? Oh, my word. Karma has shot its arrow. And it hasn't even gotten to the full extent of the bow. <laughs> right now, it's just pulling it. It hasn't released the arrow yet. And already the former oppressors are screaming victim. Of course, you might have heard this from other channels, but I'm just going to take you through it because right now, all that is going on is there's a lot going on and it's all moving so fast it's moving so fast that we're likely to miss a lot of the depth of the information that we are receiving okay so i'm just going to take my time it actually requ um, requires me to serialize the ongoing events so as you must have heard unless you've been living under a rock that Kate was exposed in the fake photo scandal. I did a quick one, I think, on Sunday when the story broke, uh, just doing a hot take on the story which had dropped. Just so that um, squaddies were aware of what was going on. Uh, and actually, me saying Kate was exposed in a fake photo scandal, it to me, it kind of feels wrong just because I think we should be saying that William was exposed in a fake photo scandal and that he threw Kate under the bus to take responsibility for the photoshopping blunder. But what can we do? What can we do? Okay. What can we do? Thing is that at the beginning of this scandal, we had people like Sarah Vine writing articles in the mail with headlines like the picture of smiling Kate kills the absurd conspiracy theories. The truth is that the country needs her and William more than ever. Despite what the Montecito mourners say. Apparently this, you know, it's lovely when you have the opportunity to see the beginning of a headline and the head and the end of the headline. I'll tell you what I mean in a second. So as we all know by now, the international press found out that the photos which had been circulated by Kensington Palace for distribution had been heavily edited. Cue the digital experts who took on the investigation. The Sussex Court, they did me so proud. They did me so, so proud. The Sussex Court has never met a challenge that they were never able to overcome. And they immediately jumped on the case. I doubt if the royal family or the British media have ever experienced anything like this in their entire life. And it's quite evident with the way that they are backpedaling, making excuses, making excuses for the excuses and backpedaling for the excuse that they made for the initial original excuse. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> oh, wow. So this is the kill notification that we got from when the, um, the media discovered the fake photo. And this is the Sussex squad going about their business. <laughs> this is this, one of the photographs that were discovered on the internet. They completely lifted the whole family and put them in someone's sitting room. But they broke down the entire thing, how this fake photo came about. You might have seen that. 
So this is the original photograph on the left and Kate's photograph from when she did a, fo a photo shoot for Vogue magazine. And one of those incredible techie people was able to determine that they just lifted her face from this photograph and put it on the photograph on the left. Maybe they felt she looked good in that photograph and wanted to use it again. Who knows what their rationale was? But I think it was one of the most stupid decisions that they ever made, which is probably the reason why they're not able to produce the original photograph. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, so when this happened, there were jokes for days, the jokes that followed. There's so many of them, but I'll just show you one of them. Look at this one, which said, Kate, my dear, I was wondering if you could Photoshop me out of a picture. This is probably Charles talking in, oh, 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 actually, just looking at it now, I completely get who this is. This is Andrew. This is Andrew. He says, Kate, my dear, I was wondering if you could Photoshop me out of a picture because there's one photograph which is causing Andrew so much discomfort and displeasure at the moment. And if he was not in that photograph, then his life would be better and he would be able to exonerate himself from allegations. Yes, this is Andrew. This is all together. Do you know, I didn't. I just thought that the photograph was funny. This, I thought that this meme was funny. And that's why I decided to use it. It wasn't until this very second that I realized why it was that funny and who it was about. Because obviously you've got the butler standing with a phone behind and then this is obviously Andrew with his bug eyes. And then, of course, the reference to a photograph. Of course, we all know that um, Andrew wants to be removed from a particular, one particular photograph. <laughs> um, before I continue, let me say hello to everybody. So hello, Connie Barmer. Hello to Janice. Hello to Lorna. Dawn, Judy, hello, 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 hello. And thank you to, uh, I will just say your last name just because uh, I don't I don't even know if you're here yet. Let me see if I can find you. And I don't even know if the person is listening, but the person who sent me a uh, PayPal on Monday, I think it was. Thank you very much. I'm really grateful. It every little helps and it, it does come in handy. Thank you very much. And thank you for responding to my call because I do remind everyone to uh, send uh, donations to the channel. Thank you. Um, so moving on. Anyway, because we all know that the Sussex Squad will remind you when you did mess up. So remember that Sarah Vine article at the beginning? Let me take you to the beginning where she was saying, the picture of smiling Kate, blah, 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 de blah. Well, when all of this happened, the Sussex Squad went back to her and said, hey, at Sarah Vine, how is it going with the picture that was supposed to dismantle the absurd conspiracy theories? <laughs> and laughter ensued. Listen, when I tell you the derangers, the Royal Rota have not had a good week, believe me, believe me, they have been Skewered, they have been slayed, the flesh has been removed from their bones. They are having a, an awful time altogether, and it serves them right. Anyway, so normally, you know, um, it looks like Kensington Palace, they sat through the night and realized that the most sensible thing 
that would need to happen is that the palace would need to apologize. And so they released an apology apparently from Kate on their Instagram page saying, like so many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to ex express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. See. Okay, so normally you would think, this is not a bad apology, um, except, do you hear the tone? Like many amateur photographs, who does Kate think she's talking to, first of all? And you know, that just ruined it. That just ruined the whole apology because you, you are rudely apologizing. I didn't even think that that was possible, but apparently, um, Kate managed to find a way to do that. And it all, because, you know, it almost sounds like, how dare you call me out? Why are you making a big deal out of nothing? Hello, hello, hello. You are the royal family. <laughs> you are the royal family. You are putting out a photograph that gives an impression which is supposed to add to the current narrative. And given the speculation, rampant speculation, which has gone on before the release of the photograph, clearly you are giving a statement which is supposed to clarify that you are well and good. Meanwhile, the photograph which you are saying is a statement evidencing your good health is not a real photograph. So why do you not think that people will hold you accountable? But anyway, it just goes to show, doesn't it? It just goes to show how the royal family is not held to account for anything. This is why they are struggling with the fact that people are holding them accountable now. It, they messed up so bad, they messed up so bad that their flunkies cannot even cover for them, cannot even defend them in public. They are the butt of every joke, every place. Seems like the future that they wanted for Harry and Meghan, they find themselves living. And this is the reason why nobody can tell me that uh, um, Southern Park were not commissioned to do those skits on Harry and Meghan. So they are finding themselves in that position now, all of their own making. And of course, you know, the media carried the apology every place. Kate apologizes for any confusion and admits editing Mother's Day photograph. Okay. So that should have been that apology given. And they have to, I mean, people have to receive their apologies any which way they want to receive the apology, right? But every, of course, everyone had a field day with the apology. Every person, I'm telling you, had a field day with the apology. And what was worse is not that they had the, the it's not so much the apology. It was the amount of um of course then she must have known that they would examine the apology. <laughs> the, the tone and the way it was given, it's almost like they think that royalty trumps age and everything else that there is to be considered in in the world. It's just like um, James O'Brien said on LBC. Let me see if I can play what he said. The Princess of Wales, which is Kate Middleton, has now issued a statement on Instagram, like a kind of, also she signs it C. I, 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 I might start signing all my things, J. She signs it C. And the statement is this. So hold on to your hats. Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. 
So the world's major picture agencies last night took the unprecedented step of pulling a photograph from public circulation, a story that regardless of what you feel about the royal family will have resonated at almost every level of international journalism. And this lady has responded it to it by saying, sorry, I was just, I was just faffing around on Photoshop. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so it's quite interesting that even like journalists who are usually very, even the ones who are not royalists, right? They tend to be, even though they do extend some criticism towards the royal family, but all in all, they do tend to be kind of careful about the royal family, right? They're not careful anymore. They're just like, please, you have messed up and messed up big time. So that led everyone who was observing everything to say, you know, that doesn't really sound like Kate. <laughs> That doesn't sound like Kate. And so, of course, you know that that must have led to the meme upon meme upon meme. And one of them was this one, Twitter comment. It says, I'll just say it was Catherine's fault. She was trying photo editing. That's it. <laughs> Another one said, yes, just say she edited the photograph herself, even though I said I took it. Yes, throw her under the bus for F sakes. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the day we can all imagine because he has been known to do this before we can all imagine that he was the one who signs the statement just like how uh you guys remember when harry said um he talks about the statement that was supposedly sent by him and William um, decrying or debunking the news report that uh, William had bullied Harry and Meghan out of the royal family. And then William took the step of sending out a statement in the name of Harry and Meghan. Well, Harry said that he never sent out any statement. He never sent out any statement. Well, it wouldn't surprise me if the same thing happened in this case as well. Anyway, um, this led to another round of memes. We even had V from the Sussex set saying, like many amateurs, she just repeated the same statement by Kate. And this is her own attempt of what an editing session with her would look like. <laughs> and this one, <laughs> and this one. <laughs> and this one. So at this point, I told you, the Royal Rota now feel like they cannot, they could not defend the royal family in the public space any longer just because they had lost the credibility. The international outrage was loud, loud. Thank you, Americans. Thank you so much. We are so grateful because it's quite clear to me that nothing would have been done about this unless it had come from outside the UK. I didn't know we were that downtrodden. I didn't know that we could we were that that downtrodden in the UK, but here we are. So Liz Jones, who she I mean she flip flops depending on what day it is. She said the palace can no longer be trusted. They think we are all stupid. Now we are thinking, did Kate even write the message? Is she too ill? And then Chris Ship, you know. Him, him now thinking we are talking to reasonable human beings. He added gasoline to the already raging fire when he tweeted, oh, are we calling it X now? Anyone who knows what we are calling posts on Twitter or the app which was formerly known as Twitter, 
Anyone who knows what we call those posts, let me know in the comment section, okay? So Chris Ship said the way to close everything down would be to release the original photo on which Kate decided to experiment with editing. That's very unlikely, mind you. <laughs> He must have felt safe enough to say it out loud because even Emily Andrew had this to say. Let me get this up. Absolutely, Jeremy. What a complete mess. And as you've just, you know, demonstrated over the last 10 minutes, this photo is going to be picked apart ad infinitum probably for the rest of this week. And actually, for me, there's two things here. One, this is a bit of a major comms disaster for Kensington Palace. You know, three major photo agencies pulling this picture, us all discussing it. But also, the more important thing is, can we ever trust anything the palace can ever tell us again? If we can't even trust a photograph, how can we trust that what they're telling us, and don't forget these comms professionals are tax under, you know, taxpayer funded, how can we ever trust what they, they tell us is, is true? I think to put this in the wider context, just to, just to give a bit more of a kind of explanation, this goes back to actually Prince William. He is so protective of his family's privacy. He is so, he's just, I'm not going to play all of that because the rest of it was just her now trying to dial back and her criticism and try to defend William and Kate for their effort. But, you know, at the end of the day, you couldn't make this up. Anyway, in to tell you they are following, they are looking at everything online especially on twitter and they went to they um in response to chris ship's tweet they reported and said kensington palace original photograph will not be released kensington palace said it would not be reissuing the original unedited photograph of kate and her children it comes after the Princess of Wales admitted she edited the image released on Mothering Sunday, which was later withdrawn by national and international news agencies. Like, I am so gassed. Like, what? The effing tree. The effing tree. Who do they, these people think they are talking to? And the drama just keeps getting worse and worse as we go along. To the point that the squad looked at everything and they were just like, they didn't know it at the time, but by but they did Harry and Meghan a solid one by banishing them from the House of Horrors. The complicity would have destroyed them. Sometimes you have to be violently removed from a situation and only fully understand later why. Phew! Exactly, right? And that is just part one of the debacle that the royal family are facing. Let me look at your comments and see. Uh, and see what you are saying. Hmm. It's only Mary Marianne Gums says it's only the old older British reporters that have something to say. Now it's time for them to ask for God's forgiveness and count their days. <laughs> and this is absolutely true, but do they know forgiveness means? Would they know what forgiveness means? Would they know what forgiveness means at this point? As somebody else on LBC was saying, and listen to this, 
Uh, jo okay, Joanne Baker says uh, they are not going to release the original photo because there was no original photo in the first place. That photo was created from different photos. Yes, this, they, they use the, a lot of big words to try to confuse people. You know, they said it's a composite of photos. And I thought to myself, what the hell? What does that mean, composite of photos? And yeah, it was a lot of photographs that they put together. They drew the images from a lot of different photographs. Uh, Sash says, Genesis 50, 20, you tried to harm me, but God made it out for the best so that he could save all these people now as he is doing. That's absolutely true. That is absolutely true. And uh, Sussex Love says, you know, thank God Harry has Diana jeans and sway shady. <laughs> Clearly as the windsaws, the inbred is so is showing. He's such an idiot. Uh, Marcia says Kawa is coming for older the older reporters. It's just like this uh situation just brought them into the 21st century. It just brought them into the 21st century because they um, have shown everyone that their comms team were so inept, completely unable to handle the littlest of things. Like this whole tragedy, this whole scandal could have been completely avoided. It would have just taken so many alternative actions. It's like they were racing towards the scandal. They wanted the scandal. Sash says, and we know that God causes all things to work together as a plan for good for all those who love the Lord to those who are called according to his plan and purpose. Absolutely. Joanne Baker says, that pic, Joanne. Okay, Little Max says, that picture... It's just like a ransom note I cut out from different. <laughs> it's Williams Frankenstein. <laughs> so, all right, let's move on. So, just as we were thinking about all of this that was going on, all of a sudden, the Independent randomly posted photographs of Rose. Okay, they had led to another round of discussion. This is interesting timing. Who was asking about Prince William's alleged mistress right now? Okay, why was it appropriate for the Independent to post about Lady Rose Hanbury and the Tatler magazine, which is the upper classes Bible? just like the Vogue is the fashion girlies Bible, also posted about Rose, who is the marchioness of Chomondli, Prince William and Kate Norfolk's neighbor who encouraged the princess's festival visit. Are they trying to say that they are sister wives? It would be amazing to me. It would completely blow my mind if this rumor is actually true. <laughs> so to the point that they, another person actually told the whole story and I don't know if you've heard it elsewhere I'm sure you must have done because when it hit the internet it everywhere exploded so I'll just quickly go through it and it said according to the media William and Rose started dating in 2014, which means their daughter could have been born in 2015. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You had that right. Yes, that's what I said. A daughter, right? However, both of them chose to keep the affair a secret. 
so that no one could find about it, find out about it. Since Kate, who has been the most negatively impacted, has left Buckingham Palace. This news may result in the Duke and Duchess of Wales divorcing each other. Many people compare Prince William to his father, King Charles III, who cheated on Diana for a long time with Camilla Parker. But everyone holds the prince in higher regard due to the fact that he fathered a child with his mistress. Kate may have been aware of the infidelity, but she was unaware that her husband had another daughter. Daughter! Daughter! Did you guys hear? Daughter! William has a daughter, allegedly, with Rose Hanbury. Anyway, so it makes you now wonder about the, the royal shenanigans. And someone broke it down in this article, right? Which says, in the midst of recent chaotic and ongoing drama-filled shenanigans coming from some members of the British royal family, many might have missed a very small blip on the royal's radar that might actually prove to be of some significance. One has to wonder, what was left behind what was behind this flurry of headlines just before Kate was reportedly set to leave the clinic why all of a sudden Adelaide the very cottage British media once thought was too grand for the Sussexes is now too small too drafty too freezing too inadequate for Kate's recovery additionally why from all these different media outlets not one suggested Kensington Palace or any other royal homes as alternatives for Kate to have a more comfortable recovery. Interestingly enough, they all suggested the option of her staying at the Middleton's property instead. Coincidentally, the source for all three tabloids cited is Michael Cole, close friend of the Middletons. Allegedly, Adelaide Cottage was being used as the bargaining chip. Turns out Kate, not so quick on the optic, realized only after uprooting herself from Kensington Palace to Windsor that Prince William may have had ulterior motives, especially duping her into believing Adelaide was going to be their family home, only to find that this place was really meant for her and the kids. With wife and kids living in Windsor, William allegedly took his opportunity to indulge, spending more time at KP, living the quasi-single life. Which brings us back to Kate Carol Middleton, Mother Boleyn, as we ask. Mother Boleyn, as we ask. How does a woman so adept at the art of social climbing not spot this bit of manipulation by William to dump her daughter off at Windsor? Part of what is suspected as one of his first moves to separate from his wives. Da, 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 da. <laughs> woo, woo. And when I tell you, they were trending in at least seven categories Kensington Palace, Catherine, Kate, and William, Willie. <laughs> oh my gosh oh dear meanwhile uh after in the midst of all of this scandal william parker bowles managed to attend the commonwealth day with his mother yeah he did a good job he did a fantastic job even swaying slightly as he sang the national anthem. I have all the videos and I will post all of them on my Instagram page and I will leave the link for you to go see them after this video drops. After the live stream, you can go to my Instagram page to go see all the videos, okay? So, what do we have? We have William making nice with his stepmother. 
uh, in the midst of this entire scandal. And at this stage, do you know, I'm not even focused on Camilla anymore because she's got a bigger problem on her hands. And that is how to keep William sober enough to carry out one engagement without messing it up. <laughs> It was doing so badly. They had to find a way, a way, a way. I'm sure the non-Christian reporters, Royal Rota, even the vampires in Buckingham Palace, Clarence House and Kensington Palace, they all went on their knees to pray to Jesus. Jesus, please, Jesus, please, Jesus, please give us a distraction. And do you know what they came up with? I'm going to tell you. Da -da! <laughs> Meghan Markle's cheerleader, Omid Scobie, slams Kate and William's team after Mother's Day photo fail. That was the intro of the injection. <laughs> <laughs> that was the intro of the injection. They hoped and prayed that introducing Megan's name into this debacle would take the attention away from them. Then, while they were trying to figure up, uh, figure out a proper defense of Kate's behavior. Of course, we had people arguing back and front and saying, oh, well, it's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal. But the international journalists said, no, it is that big a deal. You cannot bring a composite of a photograph and call it a photograph. That's not a photograph. A photograph is unedited. It's a, it represents a state of being, which is like a statement of health itself. So the Sussex squad went onto the AP website to go and see what their uh, re uh, requirements are. And you can see AP says AP pictures must always tell the truth. We do not alter or manipulate the content of a photograph in any way. The content of a photograph must not be altered in Photoshop or by any other means. Highlighted in yellow. That is for AP. And Ruta journalist says, Follow, this is their requirement, okay? Follow the trust principles in all activities related to Reuters news. Hold accuracy sacrosanct, okay? And if you skip further down, second to the last comment on their list, you can see it says, do not alter still images or video footage beyond the methods normally used to prepare content for editorial use. So that kills that argument, but you know, the British media had to try very hard. <laughs> had to try very hard. And then they tried to say that, you know, you knew that they were coming for Harry and Meghan when they introduced Meghan's name into the mix, right? So they tried to say, well, it also happens to Harry and Meghan. It also happened to Harry and Meghan. After all, uh, there was this time that PA Media issued a kill notice for one of Harry and Meghan's photographs. But this has been confirmed to be fake as well. But it was true that the tabloids had altered this photograph that was issued by Harry and Meghan because they tried to make it look as if the photograph had highlighted Megan's face and um, made Harry's face look a lot more blurred as though Megan was trying to draw attention to herself and Archie and blur Harry out of the photograph. 
this was proven to be fake. Fake, 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 fake. So look at them trying to say, be easy on Kate. At the same time, bullying Megan. Like, it's almost unreal. <laughs> it's almost unreal. And as V said, Harry and Meghan were having an awesome weekend of positive publicity and Kensington Palace, they just couldn't take it. They couldn't take it. And as they always do, they try to get in on it. They said, now look at them. Both AP and writers have killed stories linked to the photoshopped picture and the conspiracy theories about Kate have deepened. Isn't it ridiculous? Isn't it ridiculous? It is. Oh, before we continue, can I just say, if you're just joining us and you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead to subscribe to the channel. If you have visited my channel before and you enjoyed my content, please go ahead to subscribe. If you're listening to me, if you can hear my voice, please go ahead to leave a heart emoji and click the like button. As you know, it helps with engagement. It helps the videos bubble to the surface because you know that we are competing against the hit channels in these YouTube streets. Okay, so if you are a first time, if this is your first time of coming to my channel or visiting my channel, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for everyone who has sent me donations. They are been they have been well received and uh, have come in quite handy. If you uh, care to do so, please go ahead to donate to the channel. It does help to keep the lights on. And what else? What am I forgetting? No, just hit the like button and the, leave a heart emoji in the comment section. Okay. That's great, and we'll continue. So, oh, anyway, as you know, Twitter is not a serious place. Before you know it, you had people giving us all kinds of images showing that they had found Kate. Kate had been found in this holiday park having a swim. <laughs> Obviously, you can see that it's an AI generated image with the double arms. It's just as good as uh, the edited image that Kate submitted to be used for Mothering Sunday and supplied that rubbish image to the international press who have now called her out all across the globe. <laughs> also, this is another image of Kate. She was, she was seen jogging. <laughs> She was seen jogging. Oh, dear. And then you still had, I don't think that they've had a scandal this bad in relation to the royal family being, I don't think in a hundred years that they have because they were completely on the back foot on this one, honestly. Because even the excuses the media are making to try to defend them uh, don't even make sense. Like this one, um, somebody said, people seem to think that the public own the rights to her mental and physical states. What happened to manners, grace, and sensitivity? This is coming from Celia Walden. Do you guys know who Celia Walden is? Do you guys know who Celia Walden is? I'll ask you, I'll give you a moment to think about that in the comment section. While I move on to the next slide. Who knows who Celia Walden is? She is saying that people seem to think that the public own the rights to her mental and physical state. What happened to the manners, grace, and sensitivity? Ah, Joanne Baker says, yes, yeah, absolutely correct. That is Piers Morgan's 
wife, Piers Morgan's wife. So why wouldn't she have something to say? And why would whatever she has to say not be negative? Of course it's going to be negative. Of course. Then someone reminding her, reminded her, uh, you were saying that you are saying that people seem to think that the public own the rights to Kate's mental and physical states, but this was you when it was Megan saying Megan can't de demand privacy for baby Archie while asking the public to fund her family's lifestyle. Exactly, Compton Cali girl, she had no manners, sorry, she had no manners when it came to Harry and Meghan. <laughs> so ridiculous. But guess whose photograph is not altered? Harry and Meghan. Sorry. This is their photograph. I use this particular one because they try to attack this photograph saying that uh, Missan had said that this tree that was behind them had been included in the photograph. But this is, I don't know whether that is the reality or not, but the point is that before this photograph was used, he actually confirmed that the photograph had been, that the tree had been inserted into the photograph okay but guess what this what the, the british public have had enough now and they're making very 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 funny jokes and just listen to this exchange between a deranger and just a general person not particularly a fan of Harry and Meghan, not particularly a fan of the royalists or the monarchists, okay? Uh, this person, Bridget, is saying, you are right, he is incompetent and a failure, but as a Republican, I hope we do away with all of them. So Karen Arms, who is head, head woman in charge, of the derangers on Twitter. She said, the king and queen are amazing. And then Bridget says, Bestie, can you tell me, can you please tell me one thing they have done for us since their reign to be called amazing? And Karen Arms actually had the audacity to type it out. She said, first monarch to ever appear on American Idol. <laughs> I collapsed. I collapsed. I collapsed. Like, what? Is that what they have done for us? Like, to appear on American Idol? Like, seriously? Oh, wow. Anyway, um, when they could not find any way to defend Kate, they now decided to weaponize the white white woman tears, should I say? White, white. Because you now had BBC. BBC, everyone believes that the BBC is an independent news platform jumping into the fray to say it's pressure on Kate after photo chaos unfair. Like, what? They're supposed to be neutral. How did they get into this? But then, who did we have? We had Lee Anderson, who probably needs, uh, he probably needs the publicity at the moment. He clout chased. He completely jumped on the clout chasing bandwagon. And he said, Lee and the, and the Telegraph said, Lee Anderson has offered his support to the Princess of Wales after she admitted editing an official photograph released for Mothering Sunday. Like, what? 
Lee Anderson, it's always the unwashed, the Bible banging, the horrible right wing people who are in support of anything, whether it's right or wrong, they are always in support. They don't even have to ask what happened. They just claim their support. I've seen that a lot of people have just joined the chat. They've just joined us online. As you come in, can you hit the like button? As you come in, can you hit the like button? And if this is your first time here, can you subscribe? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. So, Lee Anderson, 30p Lee Anderson, <laughs> lent his support to Kate in the midst of this photo editing chaos. And of course, it was a great opportunity for anybody who needed clout to jump on the clout chasing train. So guess who jumped on the clout chasing train? Guess who else? <laughs> yes, it's our favorite squirrel. It's our favorite squirrel. Dan Woo Woo. He said on Twitter, the Royal Rota will not report the truth, but I will. Coming soon. Dan Wooten outspoken. Sign up now. For $2.99, you can join Dan Wooten on his platform. Dan Wooten outspoken. <laughs> Antoinette Kennedy, thank you for driving and listening in to me. I hope you're enjoying the show. <laughs> this is royalty for your journey home. <laughs> I imagine that my faves, this is the expression right now. <laughs> because the things that are going on right now are ultra ridiculous, ultra, ultra ridiculous. Dan Wooten, the savior, everyone has been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god i am dead i was dead i was dead when i saw that i was just like what what from nowhere he just dropped this <laughs> you know how you could be having an argument with your sibling and then some you're so into the argument you're just going left or right <laughs> And then <laughs> someone from outside just comes in and jumps into the argument. So then you both jump on that person. That's exactly what happened to Dan Wooten. He just dropped this and ran away. <laughs> he dropped this on Twitter and ran away from Twitter <laughs> because everyone attacked him. Like, shut up! <laughs> Oh wow. Oh, it was too funny. Anyway, still trying to explain what's happening with Kate, but unable to ignore the scandal because this whole thing started from them not explaining why what was wrong with Kate. So now you have New York Post, which, by the way, is a Murdoch paper, okay? Giving us the title saying, Inside Amner Hall, where Kate Middleton is hiding amid public concerns, something is terribly wrong. 
And then the body of the story says, a source close to the situation expressed deep concern, suggesting that Kate's, that Middleton's health struggles might be more serious than initially perceived. Perce more serious than initially perceived by who? We all knew, we been knew that something has been wrong with Kate for We've been knew that something has been wrong with Kate for the longest time. It's quite obvious. Even the blind, deaf, and dumb man down the street from where I live knew that there was something wrong with Kate. So I don't know when you say more serious than initially perceived. Everybody knew. Anyway, every time they are stumped from a response, okay, then they bring. Megan's name into the mix. So they said, Kate photo controversy is proof that Megan was right to get out of the picture. Like what? Kate photo. Like what? And can you believe it? This was actually a positive Photo, um, article about Megan. This was written by Darren Lewis. He is often on these talk shows, being in, being, being the. He's often on these talk shows, being the token black man trying to sound as if he's only being objective and neutral, but always having a negative slant, right? He says, Meghan Markle must be delighted to have dodged a bullet. Breaking away from the royals four years ago was messy for her, ugly for Harry, and painful for both families. But every time she switches on a TV and watches the feeding frenzy around Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Sussex must breathe a sigh of relief. Anyway, all his reasons for saying so, he blames it on social media as though it was social, me it, social media was to blame for the breakdown, for the briefing of William to the media of the cruelty of the royal family to Harry, of everything that happened that led down to the breakdown of the relationship between Harry and the rest of the royal family. I've seen a lot of people just join us online. Thank you and welcome, 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 welcome. If this is your first time here, please go ahead to subscribe to the channel. We are aiming for 3,000 subscribers by the end of March. We are 200, no, it's no longer 200. We are now 192 eight subscribers away from our goal so please go ahead to subscribe to get us there as soon as possible also if you can do please go ahead to donate to the channel it does help us to keep the lights on and thank you everyone for joining please hit the like button uh and on your way in as well anyway so this guy, he now goes on to say, now as the UK goes full Kate Spiracy over that doctored Mother's Day photo, Meghan must feel even more vindicated. Yes, the image that prompted four of the world's biggest photo agencies to recall it raises more questions than it answers. But the pressure on Kensington Palace to provide more detail on Kate must leave even the princess wishing she'd taken the Megan route to preserving her sanity. Millions of toxic families around the world have members who want to break away. Sons or daughters, often younger adults, who reject being guilt-tripped into doing things the family way, just to keep parents or siblings happy. The family waits for them to fail and come crawling back with their tail between their legs, but they succeed at toughing it out rather than returning. With her wealth, 
and the TV career she'd had before she ever met Harry, Meghan is blessed enough not to need to go back. She is a poster girl for empowerment in the face of relentless intimidation and unwarranted attacks. As she do what she like, as she does what she likes, when she likes, without having to kowtow to the royal rota, watching the Cambridge dumpster fire from afar must be what freedom feels like especially with Kate now finding out the optics of the royal fairy tale are no substitute for day-to-day -day peace of mind. Hello. 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 <laughs> woo. 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 Oh, wow. Well, it, say, it serves Kate, right? That is, she got exactly what she wanted. Exactly. So that reignited the call for the release of the original photo, right? So right now, this is what the media looks like, what you have on the screen, okay? So you've got the mirror who say, you know, the mirror since their court case with Harry have been trying to be a bit objective, a bit, a little, little bit. They've taken a little bit of the... Um, full kowtow away from the tone and their reporting. So every once in a while, they will drop in a true objective article, which must feel very strange for them. So they said, Royals must release unedited Kate Middleton photo as integrity of future queen, king and queen at stake. Ooh, I almost said future queen and queen. Is that a Freudian slip? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you've got the sun, which is a full Murdoch paper, ramping up the incitement of hatred towards Harry and Meghan, and the imbecilic support of Kate and William, still saying, lay off Kate, stop bullying over edited photograph. <laughs> Well, I'm sure all of you saw the headline of this video because what happened next shocked everyone. Because CNN said, if you have edited this photograph, who is to say what photographs you have edited in the past? And that's a reasonable question, right? That is a reasonable question. So they have said, just a second, let me pull up the, for the story. CNN. It was, is no. So they said CNN is reviewing all photographs handed out by Kensington Palace after the Princess of Wales admitted editing a family portrait. The American broadcaster said the picture of the princess and her three children had been distributed for editorial purposes and that media organizations expect those images to be accurate. Okay, I'm not going to read all of it. I'll just scroll down to, okay, it says CNN is now reviewing all handout photos previously provided by Kensington Palace. It added, a decision about any action will be taken when the investigation has concluded. The digital fingerprint of the princess's photographs suggests that she merged multiple images using Photoshop. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> So, just before I decided to start this uh, this live stream this evening, there are two pieces of there are two pieces of big news which have come in, and the first one is that. Um, 
the first one is that uh, Prince William is said to be beside himself over Kate Middleton's decision to step away from royal duties. It's so what does that sound like to you guys? Drip, 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 drip. It says Princess of Wales is reportedly considering stepping away from her royal duties according to a bombshell new report. Kate's rumored decision has reportedly rocked her marriage to king in waiting Prince William and the monarchy, the report claimed. Hi, Gwen. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for listening. And thank you that you will keep on listening. He said, Kate is considering stepping away from her royal duties. And then the other piece of big good news which I'm going to do a separate video on, is that Megan won her case against her half-sister. It was, although the sister, they didn't really get into much in the case, the sister filed it. And as the sister filed it, Megan um, filed a motion to dismiss the case. And all this while, uh, the sister has been trying to get the case to move, but it's always been defective. And initially I was a bit impatient because uh, the judge kept giving Megan's sister the opportunity to amend her claim. And they gave her the uh, opportunity to amend the claim three times, three good times. until uh, they have finally made the decision to dismiss the case. In that wise, Megan has won. Although uh, Samantha Markle came online to say that she's going to be appealing the case. I think, uh, how did they say it? Samantha Markle is a slice short of a sandwich. She is not altogether there. Let me see what you're saying in the comments. Mm. Wow, uh, Sussex Love says, wow. From CNN, they need to pick a side though. Good for them though, yep. Prince William, a liar, how can she step away when she's sleeping? I think he's going to send us a photograph of her sleeping very soon so that we, we can see <laughs> that she's sleeping. <laughs> and um, And... What's this? These lies are all William and he will be exposed because everyone knows that Kate wants that crown more than anything in the world. Kate stepping away so a deal has been done. Mm -hmm. CNN is right because this is not a family publicity release or a fashion shot, but because Kate was missing, the photo comes under journalistic interest and is judged by a different standard. Absolutely correct. You put it better than I have done myself. You've expressed it a lot better than I, I have done. It's the photograph was a statement without her having to release a statement about the statement uh, about the state of her health. Uh, HMM case was dismissed with prejudice. Where is Kate's mother or sister? 
Is she going back on Epstein's boat? <laughs> and Classy Lacroix. I hope I've said that right. I'm not sure if I've ever listened to you live, but I'm enjoying you tonight. You're so funny. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. I hope you'll come again soon. Um, Stevie Rose said, the judge basically said, please go to bed. Touch grass. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to do a full breakdown. It's a 58-page decision. Oh, dear. Um, you all remember what they did to Diana? Do KKK think she's going to take those kids? But then, Krizile wants her kids in their place. Absolutely. It's a tough one. If that is what is coming, it's a real tough one. Uh, Kate must have been, should have been thinking. I think anyone who marries into that family would have to think I have had a game plan, an exit plan from when you enter the family because uh, there is always the tendency that the you enter the family with no you enter the family and from a disadvantaged point of view since the royal family have so much power Marcia says, Weezy, may I suggest you start doing shorts on YouTube? I definitely will start doing that, I think, to grow the subscribers on the channel. It's definitely on my radar. I do them sometimes, but I'm not consistent with it. And I need to be start becoming a, mo a lot more consistent. It's just that it takes a lot of energy to put these... Um, the presentations together for the live streams and i try to um do a lot of preparation of what i'm going to say but i think the more i do these the quicker it will be for me to do them and then i will be able to put more energy into doing the shorts um, and Sussex Love says, sounds like William's making room in the Department of Side Chicks Affair for the Rosebush. Absolutely. <laughs> Remember all the bruises Will had on his neck. Something happened. Yep. So what I am seeing right now uh, on X. Sarah Vine has just said something which must be given the palace a headache. I think that the invisible contract is well and truly torn and the invisible contract was torn when the government approved the release or I might be wrong somebody else can prove me um right or wrong but when the government released the Levinson 2 documents, the media said, screw it, we have nothing left to protect. So let me get this, let me share this new article with you. Just a second. There's only one way for, yep. Sarah Vine has just released a new article. So let's read that together. And she says there's only one way for William and Kate to put an end to all the cruel speculation come clean about what's really going on or risk drowning in a quagmire of their own making. A few days on from what from that Mother's Day photo, and I must confess I'm none the wiser about what's going on in the print on with the Prince and Princess of Wales. Let's start with the latest Mia Culpa, her admission that it was she who edited the picture, clearly intended 
to draw a line under the whole business. Her statement has, if anything, added another layer to the meal fuel of conspiracies, raising far more questions than it answered. And they want me to pay $4.99 to see the rest of that article. Ain't not happening. I think there's someone who told me how to access uh, these articles without paying any money. After the live stream, I will try to access it. <laughs> After the live stream, I will have to access it. Uh, and then, and then uh, the British Press Photographers Association released a statement basically telling Will and Kate off without telling them off. Uh, just read a little bit of the statement where they said, And so the British Press Photographers Association applauds the actions of the major agencies who have had the courage to withdraw the recently distributed image showing Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales and her children by issuing a kill notice there Suspicions that the photograph had been digitally manipulated are well-founded and it's important for the reputation of press photography that they have acted as swiftly and decisively as they have. We are led to believe that HRH, the Princess of Wales, has said that she edited the image and has apologized. That should not be an end to the matter, however, whether the photo, the picture was manipulated to look nice by someone who didn't understand the importance of truth in images or whether there is something else behind the actions is not as important as getting the message out there that it is wrong. So yeah, I, I think everyone, I think everyone is, has, I think the layer of protection that was all around the royal family and all the people who support them has been stripped away because the invisible contract has been torn up. So as you can see from Sarah Vine's statement and by the, they, these people would not have had the guts to put out such a statement if it wasn't for the fact that the invisible contract has been torn up. No way, no, no way at all. So um, this is where they are, guys. This is where they are. And Copy Kate is not stepping away from her royal role by her own decision, but because Willie is divorcing her. Obviously, she's not happy in the marriage, but she's desperate to be queen. Well, hopefully, she can be desperate to be queen and still have her own life. Have her own life and still be able to preserve her life. Charles has Camilla. Kate signed the contract. She's not getting those children. The children belong to the monarchy. The Richard Branson photos and the article about Kate sleeping with Andrew did Kate in. She was served on the front pages of the press. Absolutely, I saw that. I absolutely saw that. And all of this public breakdown in the relationship between Kate and the public has stemmed from the release of the Epstein documents. So, 
So was this King Charles is lying up, think in the background to cover up for Prince William. William will still be protected, but he's not. No, is he? Is he protected? Well, he is anyway. Let me stop being uh, facetious. He is protected because we see from the outside, he looks like a bumbling fool to us, but that's because he's being protected. We don't know what he is, what secrets the palace is hiding for him. In any case, I think that if Megan was here, she would be fighting to hold back her laughter if she had to be in public with these people, right? And Tampon and Cruzilla still got the contract. Nobody ever sees the kids either. Rose's husband and friends are scamming heiress out of their money in France. Really? Okay. Why are we hearing Charles doesn't have cancer after all? It was that lady. What's her name? Um, Caroline, Carol Malone, who said that the king didn't have cancer. And she was talking as if she suddenly became senile in the middle of a TV interview. But I think that that was a Freudian slip. But we can't say what's what until a formal announcement is made. But what I do know is that the royal family's reputation has radically had a hit in the last two weeks. If they were on a scale of when, uh, of one to ten, if they were ten before Meghan joined the royal family, then uh, they remained ten after Harry and Meghan stepped back because nobody really knew how badly they were behaving behind the scenes. By the time Harry and Meghan uh, did the Oprah interview, the Harry and Meghan documentary and their book, they were still very good. They were still like eight. By the time they started to show, I think they were buoyed. They were buoyed. They were supported. They were convinced of the British public support. And so they began to show how they were treating, how badly they were treating Harry and Meghan publicly, taking away their security, taking away their home, and fighting him, showing that they were in support and rewarding the people who had uh, been fight fighting against Harry and Meghan publicly. That seriously dented their reputation. It wasn't Harry and Meghan who dented their reputation. They did that themselves. And then with this Kate's uh, debacle, oh no, their reputation is now like at 1 to 0 0.1. Is that... L. Dot says, now I understand why Harry wanted his children away from that cesspool family. What, what was it that actually convinced you, L. Dot? And why, what did you think before? Just out of curiosity. Louise says, could you imagine what Harry and Meghan was going through behind closed doors, um, Meghan being pregnant? I, I'll give, I'll do you one better uh, as far as that is concerned. Could you imagine what Harry and Meghan were going through behind closed doors 
and Megan being the only one seeing how bad it was. Because remember that Harry, what at the point didn't he was so used to it that he didn't even see what was so wrong with what was happening. Sash said William had the nerve to show up at Tom Kingston's funeral. Prince William leads mourners as Thomas Kingston lay to rest in private funeral, say Russell Myers of the Mirror. Hmm. Well, Dolores says, do you know the royal family is said to have 4,000 patronages? There is no way the slimmed down monarchy will be able to do these patronages from England through Commonwealth. They must, before they decided that they were not going to accept the half in half out from Harry, they must have had a plan. If they didn't have a plan and they still decided that they would push Harry and Meghan out, that is their problem. Um, uh, what L dot you're uh, just waiting? I was waiting for your response. Uh, L dot says, What I thought was that the royal fam the family just hated the Harry ma ma marriage and they left because of the intentions of the royals to break them up. Okay, okay, okay. So you thought it was about just the marriage, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, the dissatisfaction with Harry. Okay. Okay. Uh, HMM says they gave Harry five options and not had half in, half out. Uh, they, they gave ha Harry five options. I think from spare, Harry said one of the, the third one was the half in, half out. But they wouldn't even let him choose the half in, half out. That was the point. Elder says, it turns out Harry is the only one with any sense. <laughs> turns out Harry is the only one with any sense. And that is shocking. But it's always the case, isn't it? Always the case. Yep. Always the case. Okay, guys. That's all I have for this evening. So I'm going to stop here. Um, What's next? So on Thursday, I think we're going to be looking at the court case unless there is anything, anything breaks before then. We're going to be looking at Samantha and Megan's court case. And on Saturday, after we do, we do the news roundup, we will do episode two. I will do a quiz on episode two of Archetypes. So listen to the quiz before then because I do the quiz too quick for you to do quick Google checks on as we are doing the quizzes, okay? Uh, I think the quiz will, the last one we did was just 10 questions. And then we're going to extend it to 25 questions just because people really enjoyed the quiz. And I'm still thinking about the digital awards that we will give to the winners of the uh, awards. Okay. The byline stories, right? Okay. 
I decided to stop doing them for a while because I thought I was being a bit too... Uh, <laughs> the stories I was carrying were a bit too heavy for most people. But I will get back to doing the byline stories again since you're asking for them. Okay. And... Thanks for joining us, Joy. Thank you very nice. Thank you for joining us. It was really nice to have you. And thanks for the conversation as well. Oh, to be part of the quiz. Okay. We need the byline stories to be part of the quiz. That's what you meant. Okay. All right, got you. All right, so thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, it's Wizzy signing out. I'm going to play us out. Bye. Mm -hmm.